Welcome to your Daily Revolution podcast. Today's topic, the greatest investment in your children. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's go. This is your Daily Revolution. Live in prosperity. We show you how to do it. There's no luck about it. We got the strategic blueprint. Coming to you live from Zion's you National you Park. This is beautiful. If you've never been here before, my goodness, it is breathtaking, majestic. Wow, it's incredible. And thank you for listening to the podcast. I just dropped my kids off at Youth for Freedom Leadership Camp. Four days of leadership training and experiential training. I'm so excited for them. And uh, this podcast really is about why we chose to make these investments into our children. And before we dive in, look, I just want to say thank you. I really, really appreciate you being in my world and allowing me to be in your world. And I appreciate if you get value from a podcast, just share it forward. Take a screenshot, tweet it, uh, share it, forward it to someone, and tag me. If you're listening, tag me and let me know your thoughts. And if you have anything that you'd like me to discuss, specifically any questions, things that just you want help with, shoot me a message and I will throw it into the podcast list of topics to discuss. All right, just talk about the podcast today. So when the summer started, I knew, I, I knew like we had a shot this summer to create unforgettable memories. That's one of the things we talk about, build wealth, create unforgettable memories, and expand legacy. This summer is like, all right, I'm gonna, we're gonna go be on the road, right? So we drove to Missouri, flew to Utah, went to Vegas to speak, took my son to an entrepreneurial workshop in Arizona. We flew back to Missouri for two family reunions, flew back to Utah, ooh! And then we drove down here to Southern Utah. And there's this week long camp called Youth for Freedom. It's a leadership camp. And there's, I don't know, 120, 130 children from all over the country. we got kids from Maine, from Washington, Utah, Florida, Missouri, Texas. It's amazing. And as I read, the reason I recapped like all the travels, the flights, the driving, shipping cars, Airbnbs, just this sports camps, football camp, leadership camp. The reason I'm sharing all these details with you is because there is a significant investment of time, energy, and money that is being poured into my sons. And then I've got three nieces that I've taken care of for them to be here and a nephew. And why am I spending this time, energy, and money into them? Is because I know that one of the greatest investments I'll ever make is into my family. Teaching them, showing them, building memories with them, and just dropped them off at this camp and it's just significant because they are an investment. They are like a treasure, right? The Bible says where your treasure is, there will your heart be. And right, if your heart's there, there's your treasure is. And I take a look at really how I spend my time, energy, and money. And it's always in my wife, my kids, my clients, myself, our community, and then of course our church and any other worthwhile causes that I believe in. And the question I have for you is, are you investing in your children? Well, there's a study done. There's a number of studies on this, but in homes where there are no fathers, fatherless children, or the father is not present, right? Those homes have more chaos, more trauma, more breakup. And there's so many scientific case studies on the the, the importance of having a father figure and having homes where there's a mother and a father. And like, I get it, right? If you're in a home where you're a single parent, I love you. I know you're doing the best that you can. And I know as a father, my job is to provide, to protect and to preside. It's just really lead and show my children how it's done. So the reason I I invest in my children is because I know this future generation, they need us. Every generation needs to be shown how to be a real man And if you have a young daughter, how to be a woman and how to not tolerate average mediocre guys. I got nieces here and we're talking on the ride down here. Like, look, make sure the person you marry loves your parents. Make sure that they are, they really are someone that you love. And as I look into my kids between sports camps and entrepreneurial workshops and events and everything we put into them, I know, I know that it's a way of me showing my love for them and really helping them to understand like this matters. So what's the lesson? Invest in your kids, invest in them. 
Spend time with them. Pour energy into them. Pour presence. And I don't mean like presence under a tree. I mean being present, being mindful, being there with them, putting your phone down, listening to them, talking with them, listening to them, watching and observing what they are doing. It's amazing what will happen if you will invest your time, your energy, and your money into your children. What would be possible if you did this? Now, let's take a look across physical, spiritual, relational, financial. Physically, I train my sons in the gym. We train on the field. There's days where they don't want to go. But at this age, guess what? Your kids really don't know what they want. And the natural thing is for them to want comfort and ease. This is why I literally, well... I used to literally drag them. Now it's like, get your shoes, let's go. Every place we go to in Utah, like we're up, well, up in Orem where we're vacationing, it's incredible because we go get a membership at the rec center and we're there every day or we're on the field every day and working out and being physically fit, drinking water, discussing macronutrients and why they need protein. Again, I get it, right? You, you got to teach, 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 and you hope that something lands and sticks. Spiritually, we do devotionals, we pray, we study the word, we talk about prophets of old and Jesus and what it means to be a holy person and what it means to stand in holy places. I mean, these are frequent conversations that we get to have with our children. Relationships. My boys see me date their mom every week. We sit in the car and we talk. We pull them aside for one-on-ones. Again, these are investments into our children, of course, financially. Today, I was talking to my son on the drive down here, like, where do you want to go to school? And he goes, Dad, I want to go to BYU Hawaii. I'm like, why do you want to go to BYU Hawaii? BYU H. He says, well, I just want to get into the culture and I want to go. I'm like, great. And then I'm like, guess what needs to happen? He's like, I got to get my grades up. Yes, you do. Right. And then we're talking about just, you know, we have this amazing Airbnb in Orem. It's got arcade games, it's like full arcade, air hockey, beautiful home, brand new, redone. And right, it's obviously not very cheap. But my sons are like, dad, thank you so much. I'm like, no boys, thank you. This is, this is daddy's way of showing my love. Like I love the way we travel and I love the way we live. And if you like how we travel, remember you better choose a career and a profession that you love and that can give you the lifestyle that you want. So between physical, spiritual, relational, financial, I'm always or striving to pour into my sons, to pour into them. Now, the biggest question for you, are you doing that for your children? And I know some of you are, and it's incredible. And I'm, I'm inviting you. It's not too late. I promise you, it is not too late to invest in your children, even if they're in their 20s or 30s. It's not too late. And it starts with a simple text message, and it starts with a simple phone call, and it starts by you being present. And I can promise you, if you'll pour your time, energy, and money into them, I get it. There's days where I just, I'm like, dude, I'm done. My kids are killing me. They're they're just not listening. That's fine. But I promise you, if you will pour into them, if you will hug them daily, if you will touch them daily, like I always touch my sons on the shoulder. I pull them in, I put my arm around them. My sons, my two younger ones always give me a kiss on my forehead or my bald head like hug every night. Like you got to touch your kids. You got to text your kids. You need to call your kids. And listen, please understand this. I'm not even professing to be perfect at this, but I'm striving, striving hard to really show up and invest in them because I know that the investments I make into them will yield a return, not, not so much monetarily, but it will yield a return of feelings and emotions and memories I want my sons to be like, golly, my dad was the best. That's what I want. And I'm clear about that. And know this, there is, I've never met anyone who on their deathbed said, I'm so glad I ignored my kids. I'm so glad I made all this money. And I'm so glad that there's no one around me to support me and be with me while I'm dying. Like you don't hear those stories. The stories that you do hear, one of two stories. One story is where people are just regretful. I mean, look at Steve Jobs. As much as Steve Jobs, and I love because I'm shooting this podcast on an iPhone, sitting here in the canyon in Zion's, grateful. But even he said, I had no life. I had no child, like I had no relationship. I don't want that, do you? I want to be 
the grandfather and the cool uncle and the dad who like my boys, I'm tough on my boys. I'm sure my boys are going to end up in someone's seminar in their thirties, like traumatized. My dad was so hard on me and it's okay, but invest in your kids because you're either going to be the person on the deathbed with regret or you're going to be the person on your deathbed or in life. Just like, man, I love my life. I love my family. And I know every family's got things. I, I get it, right? There's, they, I'm telling you, there's days where I'm like, my boys, I'm about to go drop them off at a bus station in like South Dakota. Sorry if you live in South Dakota, guys. And it's, I'm, I got teenagers. And yet the joy that comes from being a family man, the joy that comes from dating my wife and being with my sons, the joy that comes from just spending the time with them is it's difficult to comprehend unless you're experiencing it. So... Thanks for listening to the podcast. My request of you, my call to action, go invest in your children. I don't care how old or how young, go invest in them, go be with them, go give them your time and energy, put your phones down, have a blackout time, go be present with them and love on them. I appreciate you listening. God bless you guys. Have an amazing day. Keep up the great work. And until next time, I'm out. Let's go. This is your daily revolution. Live in prosperity. We show you how to do it. There's no luck about it. We got the strategic blueprint. This is the your daily revolution. You already know. And if you don't, then check my resume. Turning pressure into possibilities every day. We all can win and live our unique purpose. We change our mindsets and put the work in. This is the your daily revolution. Daily revolution. Revol- 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 revolution. Your daily revolution podcast. Ah.